What's up, Scully? You seem down today. Is something on your mind? All my friends are dead. <laughs> Hajime! Vlog 50. Five zero. Okay, so little stats, because that's what I do at these big milestones. I have 789 subscribers, 58,734 views. Which is insane, so thank you guys for watching. Holy crap. So, let's talk about the last vlog, because I'm getting a lot of questions. Are you going to quit? No, I'm not quitting the pole vault. You can't quit. I'm not. I'm not quitting, I promise. What happened to you with the pole vault? <laughs> yeah, but it's over now, and I'm over it. You learn from it, and I'm moving on. Oh, done with it. So you should be too. That last vlog was a little depressing. Yeah, I'm sorry. Lots of things kind of came to a head for me, and they all came together at the same time. Uh, financial issues, and training, and my body starting to hurt. All those things that kind of bothered me a little bit came together at once. You can't. You're positive. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just like you. I slip sometimes too. I'm only human, and it was hard, but we're better now. I decided to look at it like there was a lot of warning signs going off. Um, so with getting down and low and being, you know, agitated all the time. Those were my fire alarms going off. For the vlog 50, I'm going to use it as new beginnings. We are starting fresh with a blank slate and starting over from here on out with a new attitude. And I'm going to try my best. It might take a while to get to that awesome attitude I feel like I was at last year. So there's three things I've been trying to do. Operation Find the Fun. I'm trying to find just fun in everyday life again. I bought a bunch of these googly eyes. I've been vandalizing them everywhere I go. And if you go follow me on Instagram, you will see that. Operation Mental Strength. I've been lumping myself into categories again, which isn't good because... Maybe I don't fit in all these categories. So I need to get back to the mental side. So I got a bunch of books and I'm reading some ones I've already read. Like... Wherever you go, there you are, by John Cabot Zinn. The Alchemist, which I have on my iPod, and I listen to it every time I drive to the U, so it'll probably be the fifth time. Man's Search for Meaning. This book is awesome, too. And it is also on my iPod. Applied Sports Psychology, which is a textbook I have, which is kind of sucks, and I don't even know why I put it in this list. I think I'm going to put it back on my bookshelf. I bought The Biology of Belief, because Caroline White said this book is awesome, and I trust her because she is good at recommending books. The Grand Design by Stephen Hawking. I just added this into the list because I saw it when I was at Barnes & Noble, and I'm a big, giant nerd who likes quantum physics and all the stuff that can't be explained, so I bought it, too, because it's fun. And the old classic from last year that everybody was asking me about, The Pursuit of Excellence, which is awesome, and I highly recommend it. On top of reading all these books, I am also adding meditation back into my um, daily routine. That's how Operation Mental Training is going to start. And last but not least, number three, I'm going to show the world what's up. Whatever, I'm going to show them that I deserve to be in the middle row. Um, I feel like I have a, a lot to uh, prove. And I like being the underdog because I seem to excel there. So, there. That's how we're starting. Let's get started with this vlog. Practice went all right this week. I found that I have this new fire. And prove everybody what's up. And I've been using it all week. It's been going a little slower than I hoped because, on top of being stressed for the last two or three weeks, and I got a little sick last week, which is probably due to the stress, but that fire got me through the week. It was a good week of training, even though things weren't firing as well as I hoped. Ready to rock and roll. I went a little too hard at pole vault practice right away because that fire was just a little too big. And I tried to change way too much in one practice, which is a very rookie mistake. Um, and that was frustrating. And then halfway through the practice, um, we slowed it down and focused on one or two things and made some pretty big progress. And had a pretty good talk with Steve and Caroline about some things. So things are back on track and ready to go in the right direction. And it even had me jump 16 feet multiple times from four lefts. So I can't complain. It was a pretty good day. Again, we're being stressed, sick, and being stupid <laughs> a little bit. Part of the mental training is just being aware of the little things that make you happy and that can make you smile. Carrie's playing Angry Birds and she's being no Flappy Bird and she's getting angry. 
How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> smile the whole bunch so here's my dog my dog had a rotten tooth and we thought he just grew out of being a puppy we got the tooth extracted and now we decided he likes balls <laughs> it's flipping up Right at the table because he's blind. <laughs> Where's your head, bud? I meant to do that. And then I drove to Fargo for the meet. I started off, you know, bored. three hours to fix that on top of the four-hour drive to Fargo. But by that point, I was so hopped up on energy and um, sandwiches. <laughs> I don't know why sandwiches get you hopped up. I had a ton of energy and it showed. see a couple of my friends. I did my shakeout with Dr. Eric who was helping me with some movement type things that could potentially help my vault but it's going to take a while so I got to just work it into everyday practices. Um, I call it baby stuff even though that's not the real world but the idea is is that babies have this natural movement patterns already ingrained in them when they are born and as we grow from adults we sit and slouch and do all this stupid crap that 
gets you all out of whack. So the idea is to do these baby poses as adults to reinforce those old movement patterns that are already neuro neurologically in your system. Baby stuff. Baby stuff. Baby stuff. So, boom, Dr. Eric, baby stuff. And then we had the meet. Things were starting to click and my warm-ups went fantastic. Uh, I was on like just a 16.0, but I was jumping higher than I ever have on that pole. It means my technique's starting to get better. I don't know what to say, my warm-ups went great. I wish I felt like that during the meet. So, a combination of being sick and stressed all week, I kind of was like, feeling great, feeling great, feeling great, feeling great, feeling great, and then just kind of dropped and maintained a little bit. I jumped 520 on my first First 531 on my first. And then um, at 541, uh, the pole got small, and then my second jump was kind of like a tester jump, and my third jump was awesome. I thought, technique-wise, it wasn't very pretty, but I put some huge hip height on 17.9 or 541, and just had the standards at 70, and I wish I had them at 60, and I was pretty pissed off after the meet until... I went back to that mental training, was like, alright, let's look at the progress, highest grip ever, boom, awesome, biggest pull of the year, awesome, and probably the highest hip height I've ever had at 79. Good things are on their way, I was pretty jacked about that, and I had four hours to think about it on the way home. So that's it, that was my week. I don't know how to end this, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who wrote just incredibly nice comments after that last vlog, I was kind of in a dark spot. And it wasn't just the comments, I got a lot of emails and text messages and people saying just really, really incredibly nice things and telling me their stories and how I might have helped them on their journey to pole vault or life or whatever they're doing and I really appreciate it. If I don't hear about that, I don't know that I'm even making a difference. All I see is views. So it was incredibly nice and rewarding to know that sometimes what I say in these vlogs helps some other people at the same time too. Thank everyone, I just want to thank everyone who took the time out of their day and helped pick me up a little bit. So, again, I'm not quitting, I'm sticking around, I'm working on stuff, <laughs> and this dude. Uh... So, thank you again. As you know, subscribe, shirts, whatever, Instagram, follow me, you know all that stuff, it's all in the description. Thank you again, see you later, boom. Great, so I started filming everything. I kept going up to uh, the dinosaur skeletons. For some reason, I thought it was funny asking, or ask, or having them say, Mom! Boo! Mom! Mom! Mama! Boo! <laughs> All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead, too. All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead, too. All my friends are dead, too. I bought a bunch of these googly eyes. <laughs>